Okay, so good morning. Hello again, guys. So today I'll teach you how to ingest and parse Apache, a remote Apache server, to your Elastic instance. So before you do that, of course, you need to have a working a working Elk stack. So here, as you can see here in my VMware, I have two virtual machines. One is the Elastic instance, wherein I have installed the elk stack so as you can see here the elastic search service is working the kibana service and the lag stash lag stash service so the complete elk stack and then on my second virtual machine we have here we have here an ubuntu server wherein i have installed the apache so you can see here we already have apache logs Apache lags in here and this is the one we'll be ingesting more lags Apache okay so let's try that again bar log there Apache 2 okay so for this to work, you have to install first the file bit service on this Apache server. So if I test the Apache, simply type the IP on the browser and you should have this page in order to verify that the Apache is working. And once it's working, you know there are already logs being populated in the server. The next one you have to install the file bit using these commands. So I have already installed here, so just to save the time of installing. So these are the commands you will use. So it will depend if you are using for this one I'm using Ubuntu, so I'm I'm using the dat dev package. And then to install that, simply type this command. And once it's installed, you will have a directory called etc log stash it is our etc file bit and we have to modify the file bit that yml and we have to point it to our kibana instance and log stash instance so below if i go down we have to comment out the elastic so here you'll see the elastic search portion okay let me just what you need to change here is the this one the kibana the kibana host point it to your kibana instance <clears throat> with a port of 5601 and then for the elastic search you need to comment out comment comment this one so that it will not take effect because we'll be sending the logs directly to log stash and lastly you need to modify the log stash output comment out this output that's log stash and define the host to, to where you install the log stash okay so once it's done write write the config Write the config and simply, simply restart, restart the file bit service. So either using this one, service file bit art. There. <coughs> okay. Of course, and then check the status afterwards. It's running smoothly. There, it's running smoothly. The next, go to your Elastic instance. This one we have to modify. We have to create a lag stash that configuration. etc lag stash conf .d. I already created one. This one, so we can modify this. We do not know. This is the how the config should look like for an Apache 
Apache log source which is remotely or not installed some, somewhere else, not really part of the Elastic server. So here we have the input. The bits is using the file bit that we have installed on our Ubuntu server is using 5.0.4.4 by default. And then for the filter, we will be using the grok match, match filter and the built-in parser for Apache logs, which is this format, combined Apache log. And for the output, we'll simply output it to our local instance of Elasticsearch. So we have, we'll use 127.0.0.1, this port, and we'll use an, a new index called Apache, this one. Once it's done, save the, save the config and we have to restart. We have to restart the log stash service for the changes to take effect. I'm oh, sorry, service log stash restart. Then check the status. There, it's running. Okay, we can now go to our Kibana instance. So, first, you can let's check the index. So, go to stock management, then index management. <clears throat> okay, so just to show you that it works, so I, I'll delete this first. Delete the index. Oh, and then we have to simulate events. So, we have to simulate events to our... We have to simulate events to our elastic stock. Oh, sorry. We have to simulate events to our Apache server. In order to trigger events to our to our index to our to our new index. So we we'll load that. Okay. So there, the new index is created. And you already have a 14 documents and the next thing to do is to create an index pattern for it to be discoverable in the kibana dashboard so we'll go to the index patterns so this one i've already created it so what what you need to do is if it's not it's not yet created simply create create index pattern then create a name similar to your index so something like this something like that and then select timestamp and just simply pre press create index pattern once it's done actually created it already this one you can now go to discover and you will know you will begin to notice that your new index pattern will now appear in the selected filters so in available filters rather so this one that's the apache the new index pattern we created and you can now check the parsed data coming coming through that index so here you, you can see let's try simulate events again so currently we have 15 and if we simulate more it should increment meaning there are new ingested and parsed events. So there you go. So congratulations. You now know how to ingest and parse a remote Apache server to your Elasticsearch Lagstash instance.